I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Question 64.1 Questioner, could you first tell me the condition of the instrument? Answer, I am Ra. It is as previously stated with the exception of a transitory distortion lessening the free flow of vital energy. Question 64.2 Questioner, can you tell me what the transitory distortion is? Answer, I am Ra. This is marginal information. Question 64.3 Questioner, then we won't question on it. Could you explain the basic principles behind the ritual which we perform to initiate the contact and what I would call the basic white magical principles of protection? Answer, I am Ra. Due to your avenue of question we perceive the appropriateness of inclusion of the cause of this instrument's transitory vital energy distortion. The cause is a bias towards the yearning for expression of devotion to the one creator in group worship. This entity was yearning for this protection both consciously in that it responds to the accoutrements of this expression, the ritual, the colors and their meanings as given by the distortion system of what you call the church, the song of praise, and the combined prayers of thanksgiving and, most of all, that which may be seen to be the most centrally magical, the intake of that food which is not of this dimension but has been transmuted into metaphysical nourishment in what this distortion of expression calls the Holy Communion. The subconscious reason, it being the stronger for this yearning was the awareness that such expression is, when appreciated by an entity as the transmutation into the presence of the one creator, a great protection of the entity as it moves in the path of service to others. The principle behind any ritual of the white magical nature is to so configure the stimuli which reach down into the trunk of mind that this arrangement causes the generation of disciplined and purified emotion or love which then may be both protection and the key to the gateway to intelligent infinity. Question 64.4 Questioner, can you tell me why the slight error made in the ritual starting this communication two sessions ago allowed the intrusion by an Orion affiliated entity? Answer, I am Ra. This contact is narrow band and its preconditions precise. The other self offering its service in the negative path also is possessed of the skill of the swordsman. You deal in this contact with, shall we say, forces of great intensity poured into a vessel as delicate as a snowflake and as crystalline. The smallest of lapses may disturb the regularity of this pattern of energies which forms the channel for these transmissions. We may note for your information that our pause was due to the necessity of being quite sure that the mind, body, spirit complex of the instrument was safely in the proper light configuration or density before we dealt with the situation. Far better would it be to allow the shell to become unviable than to allow the mind, body, spirit complex to be shall we say, misplaced. Question 64.5 Questioner could you describe or tell me of rituals or techniques used by Ra in seeking in the direction of service? Answer, I am Ra. To speak of that which sixth density social memory complexes labor within in order to advance is at best misprision of plain communication for much is lost in transmission of concept from density to density, and the discussion of sixth density is inevitably distorted greatly. However, we shall attempt to speak to your query for it is an helpful one in that it allows us to express once again the total unity of creation. We seek the Creator upon the level of shared experience to which you are not privy and rather than surrounding ourselves in light we have become light. Our understanding is that there is no other material except light. Our rituals, as you may call them, are an infinitely subtle continuation of the balancing processes which you are now beginning to experience. We seek now without polarity. Thus we do not invoke any power from without, for our search has become internalized as we become light love and love light. These are the balances we seek, the balances between compassion and wisdom which more and more allow our understanding of experience to be informed that we may come closer to the unity with the one creator which we so joyfully seek. Your rituals at your level of progress contain the concept of polarization and this is most central at your particular space-time. We may answer further if you have specific queries. Question 64.6 Questioner, 
Would it be helpful if Ra were to describe the techniques that Ra used while Ra was third density to evolve in mind, body and spirit? Answer, I am Ra. This query lies beyond the law of confusion. Question 64.7 Questioner, what about fourth density experience of Ra? Would that also lie beyond the law of confusion? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Let us express a thought. Ra is not elite. To speak of our specific experiences to a group which honors us is to guide to the point of a specific advising. Our work was that of your people, of experiencing the catalyst of joys and sorrows. Our circumstances were somewhat more harmonious. Let it be said that any entity or group may create the most splendid harmony in any outer atmosphere. Ra's experiences are no more than your own. Yours is the dance of this space-time in third density harvest. Question 64.8 Questioner, the question was brought up recently having to do with possible records left near, in, or under the Great Pyramid at Giza. I have no idea whether this would be of benefit. I will just ask if there is any benefit in investigating in this area. Answer, I am Ra. We apologize for seeming to be so shy of information. However, any words upon this particular subject create the possibility of infringement upon free will. Question 64.9 Questioner, in a previous session you mentioned the gateway of magic for the adept occurring in 18-day cycles. Could you expand on that information please? Answer, I am Ra. The mind, body, spirit complex is born under a series of influences, both lunar, planetary, cosmic, and in some cases, karmic. The moment of the bithing into this illusion begins the cycles we have mentioned. The spiritual or adept cycle is an 18-day cycle and operates with the qualities of the sine wave. Thus there are a few excellent days on the positive side of the curve, that being the first nine days of the cycle, precisely the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth, when workings are most appropriately undertaken, given that the entity is still without total conscious control of its mind, body, spirit distortion reality. The most interesting portion of this information, like that of each cycle, is the noting of the critical point where in passing from the ninth to the tenth and from the eighteenth to the first days the adept will experience some difficulty especially when there is a transition occurring in another cycle at the same time. At the nadir of each cycle the adept will be at its least powerful but will not be open to difficulties in nearly the degree that it experiences at critical times. <laughs>